Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Coleman 3025RE. If you're into entertaining friends and family, then this is a travel trailer you certainly want to pay attention to. Let's start off right here in this main living area. You will see you have dual opposing slides really opening this space up. You have a sofa on either side here. That way, again, you can have great conversation. And you, you'll see in the back, you have this big, huge rear picture window, and you can put a TV there as well. Right over here in this slide, so I talked about having the two sofas, jackknife style sofas. Normally, it sits just like this, so you can have people sit down, relax. You have armrests on the side right here. And as you saw, this drops down, you have some cup holders, gives you another armrest, makes sitting here nice and comfortable. Another cool thing is it is a jackknife sofa, so it drops down into a bed. And the big advantage of jackknife sofas, folks, is all the storage you get. Look at all that storage underneath there. It's a great place to put extra bedding, or if you have other large items that you go camping with, like maybe you like to bring a guitar or something like that, you can actually fit it underneath there. A little bit of storage up top here. You can see it has the uh, tinted glass fronts, helps break up the wood look a, look a little bit. LED lights throughout the entire RV as well, which are nice because those use a fraction of the power and don't put out near the heat as your standard incandescence. We take a look at the back of the RV. As I had mentioned, huge rear picture window right here. On either side, you have electrical outlets. You have your uh, cable outlet right here as well. So the idea, the kind of the purpose here is if you don't want a TV, you get this beautiful window, right? You're able to look out the back, enjoy the view out there. If you want a TV, you can just set it right here. You'll notice that the multimedia center actually hooks up to it because this is a DVD player, folks. So if you want to watch a movie, pop a DVD in right there, you're good to go. That unit does control the speakers in here as well as the speakers outside, and it's also Bluetooth capable. So if you want to stream music like from your smartphone or something like that, you are able to do that. Take a look right underneath, you see you have some additional storage. They went with the wood doors on the sides here and then the tinted glass in the center. So again, help, uh, helping break up the look a little bit so it's not you know wood everywhere you, see, uh, everywhere you look, but good storage underneath there. Right across the way is the super slide. So just like on the one side, you have another jackknife sofa here. Same thing, the center drops down like that. It also has more storage underneath. Storage galore in this main living area. And then once again, storage across the top here, LED lights, windows all the way around, letting in a ton of natural light. Dinette right here, so you have a place to sit and have a meal together. A window there uh, again to let in the light. This also drops down into a smaller bed. You simply remove these two legs right here. The table will sit along these rails. Take the cushions, put them on top. That will create your sleeping space. Now it's not a huge bed, but it is a bed nonetheless. So if someone wants to curl up or if you have smaller children, that is a good place for them to sleep. Right up above here, this is pretty cool too, folks. This is an LED light. A lot of times the light above your table in a lot of RVs are not LED. So definitely something you want to look out for. But having the LEDs are awesome, especially if you do a lot of boondocking where you don't have shore power. Right over here is the Norcold Fridge Freezer. Stainless steel panels on the front there. We open it up, you see uh, plenty of space, six cubic foot. You have the drawer on the bottom there as well. This unit does run off both propane, electric, and also has automatic switchover. Right here is your thermostat. Nice and simple to use. This controls both your ducted AC as well as your ducted heat. And then let's take a look at the kitchen here. So something I love is this right here. Look at all that pantry space you have right there. That's awesome. Whether you want to put your pots and pans in there, if you want to put you know, toasters or just fill it up with food, you have a lot of options. You also have two very large drawers right there underneath. Moving over a little bit further, you see the countertop here. Uh, there is a sink top cover. There we go, hiding right down here. So otherwise, you don't have a lot of prep space, but this Gives you a lot of prep space. You can sit that in there so you can uh, you know, use that as a work surface. Three burner cooktop here. Front one is high output and you have an oven underneath if you would like to do some baking. And I really like the backsplash in the back here too. You kind of have this frosted glass with the LED light, lights it up. It looks nice and it's super functional because that's way easier to clean than the wallboard. 
You also notice your stainless steel hood with the lightning fan and a microwave up top there. Cubby holes right here to the side. My opinion, it's a great spot to put spices, but you know whatever you want to stick up there, obviously you can put whatever you want when you own it. And right up top here, you have a couple different access points. You have this door I just opened. You also have a door from the living room right here. So a couple different ways to get up into that cabinet. While we're over here, let's take a look underneath. You will see that you have storage right down here from, uh, you know, access from this main living area as well. So maybe items you don't get into near, or, you know, quite as often, you can stick right down there. Two more drawers right here. Nice big full extension ball bearing drawers there. Slide in and out really easy. And take a look underneath the sink. I love that they didn't put in a shelf because that means this is a great spot in which you can actually fit a trash can. And I had talked about the sink top cover here. Uh, you know, again, use this for prep space, but it also is cutting board quality. So if you want to flip it over, you know, use the bottom as a cutting board. And I say use the bottom because that way you don't have knife marks in the top. The top stays looking, not, uh, stays looking real nice. Just use this, cut up, do your business, put it back, you're all set. You'll see right there, your, two, your double bowl sink, larger on the left, smaller on the right. And you have like a high rise industrial style faucet there. The bathroom with the 3025 has two entrances and exits, one into the main living area, the other one right behind me here into the master bedroom. Right in between the two is your foot flush lever toilet, porcelain bowl, that way it's nice and easy to clean. That's a good upgrade over your standard plastic bowl. Right up top here, you'll see you have a robe hook, so a good place to hang your towels. And then you have the, uh, the vent fan here to quickly help moisture escape. Right over to the side is your neo-angle shower. Your doors are in a roller track, which I like, because that way when you're done showering, all the water that's on the door here will just go right down into the shower pan, unlike a swing door where you open it up and it goes all over the floor. When we take a step in here, I'll show you the height. I'm six foot, you see I have plenty of room here underneath the ceiling, and then I get a couple more inches underneath the skylight here as well. So even if you're 6'2", six, 6'3", six, you can still shower in here quite easily. And then right over to the side, mirrored medicine cabinet up top. You have your sink top and vanity right down below here and some additional storage under the sink. If you're sick of cramped bedrooms, then the 3025 has you covered. Take a look at all this walk space you have right here. You have enough room, you can easily walk around the bed, you can get dressed, it's an actual functioning bedroom. If you take a look right in the center, you see the queen bed. Folks, this is a residential 60 by 80 queen size bed. So again, if you're a taller person, you're sick of having your feet hang off the bed, it won't be an issue in here. Both sides have a nightstand with a drawer there, and you have an electrical outlet down below. Up top, you'll notice you have storage all the way across. Again, the tinted glass, you can see that right there. LED reading light underneath. Windows on both sides of the bed. If we take a look up top, you have your vent right here. So you can open up some windows and have some, uh, you know, have a nice cross breeze if you don't want to run the AC. But more importantly, speaking of AC, this one is pre-wired for a second AC. It already has 50 amp service. So if you want a second AC, you can have it installed in this coach. Then take a look at this. You have a slide out wardrobe in here. Again, not something you see very often in a travel trailer, but I'm really glad they did it. Nice hanging space. You have mirrors on every door there. And take a look at this. You have shelves built all into right there, as well as another drawer right down below. Lastly, if you like to watch TV before bed, right here at the foot of the bed up top, you'll see they put a backer in the wall so you know exactly where to mount it. And the correct uh, corresponding connections are right up top. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at the outside of the Coleman 3025RE. Right up front are your two propane tanks with the cover there. To get, it, to get at those tanks, just undo these two thumb screws, lift the door, and you are in. Right behind that are rails for your battery. And coming up the front is your diamond plating, which helps protect your front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. If you take a look at the side, you will notice this is a laminated product, so it's tends to be easier to wash than your aluminum products, and it just looks a little nicer as well. Right here is solar prep. So if you want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. We'll open this up. You see it's magnetic. 
put it up there just like that, nice and easy. If you take a look in the pass through, there's a couple things I want to point out. One, look at how wide this door is. You have a huge door on both this side as well as the other side. So if you have large items like a ladder or big comfortable chairs or grills, you're able to uh, access them from either side of the RV. You'll also see you have an LED light strip going the whole way down rather than just your normal puck lights. And then this unit right here, this is the in-command brain, if you will. I showed you the, uh, the control inside there. If for whatever reason, you know, you ever have any issues and you have to, uh, you know, troubleshoot it, this right here is how you get to it. So you'll see everything's nice and color coordinated as far as all the wires. Uh, quite simple to use. I know it may look a little complex, but again, if you uh, take a little bit and look at the manual, you'll see it is actually quite simple. So definitely a great system. When we come back outside here, you'll see the controls right here. That is for your power stabilizer jacks. You have power stabilizer jacks in both the front and back of the RV. This control right here will operate your two front ones. The one in back will operate the two rear ones. Right up above me is the power awning. Just touch a button to have that roll out. Same thing to have it go right back in. LED light strip underneath there so you have light at night. Just flip it on and you are all set. The entryway has three foldable aluminum steps. The great thing about aluminum, folks, is that it doesn't rust. So you'll have great looking steps for years to come. You have rubber grip strips on there and the foldable easy grab handle right here. So that way you have excellent control when entering or exiting this RV. If you want a TV outside, you'd like to watch TV, no problem. Right here are your TV connections, electrical outlet there as well as a cable outlet. So you can set up a little table, put your TV here and you're directly underneath the awning. If you just want to listen to some music, you can do that as well. You have two outside speakers here. Those are connected to that multimedia center inside, but that unit is Bluetooth capable as I had mentioned. So that way you can sit out here with your smartphone and be able to stream music and just, use, uh, just operate it right on your cell phone there. Your fresh water fill is right over here. So if you're going somewhere where you don't have water hookup, that's where you'll fill your fresh water tank. Take a look right down below. Not only do you have nitrogen filled tires, but you also have beautiful aluminum alloy wheels. And just like the steps folks, these aluminum wheels will stay looking nice for the life of this RV. So we take a quick look at the back. You'll see you have your square tubular bumper with end caps. That way you have a convenient spot to store your sewer hose so it's not rolling around up front in your pass through. Attached to that is your spare tire with a cover. <clears throat> the cover will help make sure that it you know, stays in good shape. And the nice thing about having a spare tire on the bumper is this is probably the easiest place to access it. Hopefully, of course, you never have to use it. But again, in the event that you do, nice peace of mind knowing that you have one with you. If you take a look up top, right above that beautiful rear picture window, you will see the backup camera prep. This is a big travel trailer, folks. May not be a bad idea to get a ca uh, backup camera and having that prep will make it a lot easier for a tech to install, meaning it will save you money on labor. Right around the side here, a couple quick things. You'll see your cable inlet is right here. And as I mentioned, this one does have your 50 amp power cord. But again, if you're going to a campsite and it only has 30 amp service, you can do exactly what we did right here and just step it down to that 30 amp. Last couple things on the off door side. City water connection is right up here. And then right up in front of that, you have the outside shower with both hot and cold water access. Black tank flush here to make flushing out your black tank easier. Instead of sticking a hose down a toilet, just stick a hose right here. The black tank has sprayers built in, it'll wash it out for you. Now if you take a look underneath, this is your termination with both your black and gray tank valves. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Coleman Light 3025RE. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker and let's go camping.